today I'm making Russian tea cakes, my favorite dessert. I've never made them before, so wish me luck. Okay, you guys, so I got a medium bowl right here and uh, we're going to combine butter and vanilla. So let me put the butter in there. Six tablespoons of confectioner's sugar, which I have right here, and flour. So I'm gonna put them both together. Here we go. All right, and do a little bit of this. Just to mix it together. This looks like it's pretty mixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. All right, looks good. Is it nice and creamy? Yep, it's creamy. Okay. okay. All right, so now what I need to do is combine this into this. So we're just gonna do a little bit at a time like this. So I don't make a mess of the kitchen because if I do, I will end up having to clean it up. to scoop the dough into here, put them into my hand, and roll them into one inch balls. Here we go. All right, and we're just gonna kind of do this, and then we're gonna do this. Okay. We're gonna do this, and I'm assuming these rise when they're in the oven, correct? They rise a little bit, which is why you want them two inches apart. Okay. But you can put them a little closer to the edge so that you have more room for as many as you need. Okay. And what is the consistency? Is that like Play-Doh? Is it like... Yes, it absolutely feels like Play-Doh. That's an interesting analogy. So I'm going back to my childhood and I'm playing with Play-Doh and then I get to eat it and it won't make me sick. <laughs> this probably tastes better than Play-Doh. Yes. Oh, Ooh. that means the, the oven's ready. <laughs> I'm not, the oven's ready. These are gonna be so good. So these are also known by other names. What are some of the other names people call Russian tea cakes? I believe they're known as Mexican or Italian wedding cookies. Mm. Um, um, Obviously they used to be served at weddings. Yeah, I think they would be served in a tower with a um, with a snowfall of powdered sugar on the top ah. of them. But I could be wrong. Um, some of those looked like they were a darker brown when they were cooked than mm -hmm. these, so I could be wrong. Maybe they were glazed with chocolate and these are not. <laughs> but if you know, if you, you know, I don't know, if, they're, if anybody else knows, they can tell you what the names are. Absolutely, let me know. Let me know if you ever made these too and if you do them a little differently. By the way, there's a reason we are not making these with walnuts because I abhor walnuts. I don't like nuts at all. So I am making them sans nuts. If you want to add nuts, walnuts are great. When you had these before, how did you get them if you never made them before? Uh, my mother used to make these when I was growing up. And it was usually a tradition around the holidays. She would make Russian tea cake. So it does remind me of Thanksgiving and Christmas and family time and all that stuff. And she loved baking. 
and I loved eating. So that was a good symbiotic relationship, but my brothers both loved nuts. So sometimes she would make two different batches of these, one with nuts, one without, God bless her. Uh, a lot more work, but uh, I always got my version without nuts in it, which was pretty awesome. And my brothers got their nuts, so there you go. So even when you were younger, somebody was making these special <laughs> for you. Yes, and I should say my wife usually does this, but you know what, shelter, and shelter at home, it's fun to do stuff like this and learn new stuff, so here we go. Our Nana absolutely dies when she tells we tell her that we made these. So yeah, Nana loves she's them. She's made them, yes. Um, my, my sister loves them. Her children love them. So I'm going to tell Nana that I made Russian tea cakes and see what she says. She'll be like, oh. Yeah, she'll be very impressed by that, actually. <laughs> Last one, and we have a full sheet. Russian tea cakes. I am so excited. And I get to keep them all to myself. Okay, I won't keep all of them, but anyway, here's the last one. And here we have a sheet of Russian tea cakes. Okay, what's next? Let me look. The recipe is right over here. All right, so it says, uh, roll dough into one inch balls, place them on two inches apart on an ungreased cookie sheet, and bake for 12 minutes in our preheated oven. So let's put them in. 12 minutes. All right, here we go. And at 350. And let me set the timer. Actually, we use the other microwave so it doesn't turn the oven off. So let me do that. One, two, oh, oh. Start, we're good to go. This is one of my favorites, made by Kylie when she was, I don't know, but it says Kylie, my stepdaughter. So that's right there. And we've got this and this. And we're good Wait, what's in the, what's in the, the, oh, this is powdered sugar. And we're going to put powdered sugar on them after they're done baking. I'm going to roll it in there and give it the final touch. Now they should be ready. Let's find out. Ooh, they look like they're ready to pull out. So maybe if I can do this without dumping them all over the kitchen floor, which I have a tendency to do. So there we go. Looks good. Let me put those right there. Close the oven. Nobody gets burned. So what these have to do is they have to sit now and they have to cool. And then once they're done cooling, I take this, which is powdered sugar, and we're gonna roll them in powdered sugar and then put them on the tray. So gotta wait for them to cool and we'll be good to go. All right, so I have to take these off here because they're gonna keep baking. So I'm gonna move these over onto the baking sheet. So they stopped, so they stopped heating. And so uh, once I've got them all on here, then I'm gonna let them cool. And once they're done cooling, I'm gonna roll them in powdered sugar, which is the final step. All right, they are cooled. Russian tea cakes, they are ready to be rolled in powdered sugar. So let's do this. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, Russian tea cakes. I did it and the proof Wait. is in the pudding, so I do have to try one. Yes, you have to do a taste test. Let's see how I did. How's the consistency? Well, chew, we'll finish chewing before you answer. Butter, sugar, Vanilla. That's a consistency of vanilla. Mm, so they're not they're they're not too dry because sometimes they can be dry. But if you if you did them correctly, they should be just. Mm. Mm. 
absolutely perfect. I'm Yay. really proud of myself. I did Russian tea cakes. <laughs> go, Mark. Go, Mark. There you go. Enjoy. Well done. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> mm. <laughs>